South African police on the strangest of missions. They've come to find and dig up the graves of three of Nelson Mandela's children, hearse at the ready. The bodies were brought to this compound by Mandela's grandson, Mandela, two years ago, against the wishes of the family. The gates were locked today to try to keep the police out. Inside, the search begins. It's alleged that Mandler, seen here, moved the graves in order to ensure that his grandfather is also buried with them instead of at his home village a few miles away. In court earlier today, the rest of the Mandela family implied that Mandler was looking to make money from tourists. They asked for a quick decision, saying Nelson Mandela's health was perilous and that he is or has been on a life support machine. The judge ruled that the bodies should be returned to this village, Kunu, where Nelson Mandela has always said he wants to be buried beside his children. The timing of this could hardly be more uncomfortable. The tensions within the extended Mandela family have been an open secret for years, but now it's all coming to the surface, and the South African public can hardly bear to watch. What example are they setting as the children of such a great man to the world? I don't know. I'm not feeling nice, Edward. I'm not feeling nice. It's not good for Madiba, for Mandela? No, it's not no good. Tonight, police say the bitterly contested remains of three Mandelas have been found and removed. Andrew Harding, BBC News, South Africa.